Okay, looking for a long play game, 45 minutes, 15 seconds. We've had a good tranche of playing those quick, silly games of blitz type stuff. And what we've picked up, and especially from the outside world of chess, um, it's quite upsetting, really, in terms of my viewpoints on things. But basically, at the end of the day, don't beat a person who is higher rated than yourself than yourself you know um, I'm really quite shocked and surprised at what's actually happened to one of, one of the good guys in terms of fair play violation accusations and that type of stuff and I just think this is getting a little bit crazy the only way they would get rid of that is by not beating higher rated players and then the quality of the game is forgotten because all we're doing is chasing these numbers and if you beat a number that is higher than you then you are deemed to be not playing the game of chess not honoring the the duty of chess not honoring the the criteria for chess you, you're you're being an anomaly and it's quite upsetting really you know because i can play, i can beat quite a few higher rated players even the quicker games and stuff but I'm not that level, it's just that they've played crap. It's as simple as that. I'm not going to beat about the bush about it. They've played rubbish. They've done basic moves that a, I won't even say a child would make because the, ch the children are pretty good at them. Um, but like a, a complete novice would make. So how are you expected to then treat that game if they're giving you a piece or their position is bad are you then expected to dumb down your game or something to to satisfy their ego something's not right the enjoyment of the game is really being sucked out and especially when you've got a good guy getting you know they've taken it a little bit too far it's okay if it's a bad guy and the bad guy knows they've done it and whatever and you know they're trying to rehabilitate themselves but they have done it in the past so you can't really um say anything about that but when you've got a good guy and all he's doing is helping with his knowledge of playing the game and their skill is proven over the board and online you, oh, you know it's quite shocking. So you might as well not beat anybody. Well, especially don't beat anybody who is higher rated than yourself because they will just start crying. I'm not even concentrating on this game. This guy's 1200, I'm 1600. <laughs> uh, but this 1600 thing on here, my rating over the board, real life is, I think it's currently 1376. It, it bumped up a little bit. 1376 so i'm always of that mindset that i'm only 1376 these numbers online mean nothing so i'm only a few points higher than this person in the real world and they're probably maybe a grandmaster <laughs> in the real world so shall we try and concentrate on this game this higgledy piggledy type of position looks a bit odd i think we're going to move this bishop because we're going to be hitting the queen maybe with the rook so we might get a free pawn although is that going to be bad because we're opening up mm. we'll be opening up space in front of the king that might be dangerous or they might just move the uh, queen out of the way so mentally looking at ratings like this 12 free this player and they're from a country that spawns some really strong players. So I would take that number with a pinch of salt. So they've blocked off this aspect of us doing this. So they're taking the time and thinking. They do have a pawn that's protecting here. And we could take, we can't take back at this moment. But this knight was protecting this pawn. Maybe they have some sort of bishop attack thing here. Has it got a whirlwind to attack our king? I think we do have a free pawn which is going to be attacking the queen. But it's easily defended targeting towards our king area, which is a bit scary. We could bring this bishop here, but the bishop would get taken. 
by the queen. So I think they'll stay on this line to keep the protection of the knight. But they'll probably just drop here. And I'm thinking, how do we get this knight? Probably just have to bring the knight back. I'm still chomping at the bit to take there, but we can't. So we'll have to move it back. Is there any other moves? There's no shock moves. I think we have to play it safe. If I've got these, I'd... we shall. So we are. He's attacking our queen with that move. So we can take the knight and we're attacking their queen twice. So I think they'll still want to attack the knight. Yeah, okay. So he's got an angle here. We do have the bishop being able to protect the knight. Or we can just move the knight out of the way now the picture's totally changed. We can't come here because the queen will take. It's one of the things that I've got to refresh for myself is when, when I'm doing evaluation afterwards, I'm always saying, I don't utilise all the squares for the knight. I focus so much on maybe one or two, but I don't look at the full range of where they can go. So there's physically, physically and physically, but there's only... Bishop maybe coming here, defending, queen coming here, advances the queen, but then he's going to be putting doubles on the, on the knight, and he's also got a 2 on 1 here. We've got 2 on 1 protection, but this pawn is going to drop on the knight, so we won't be able to protect. But if we did move the bishop out of the way, maybe not there, because it's going to get challenged, isn't it, by these pawns. But if it goes here, it's blocking the queen. I'm trying to think, having these two pieces protecting because the queen is like x-raying through, then he's going to have the rook as well because the bishop's going to move. So he's going to have three pieces on the pawn. We'll have three pieces defending. Is there anything else we can do? Because if we do move the knight, we lose. Well, we've got two protecting. Knight comes here. Bishop moves because he wants free on there. Maybe, I don't know, go somewhere. Maybe not there because the bishop will take. So we could bring the bishop here. No. Okay, bring the knight back. Bring the knight back. Conscious of this free attack that he's got going here. Oh, he's got the bishop as well. I knew there was something. So he's going to have more pieces being able to attack, so we'll have to push the pawn up onto the knight. Which kind of does weaken it a bit, because we've only got the queen and the knight protecting. I'm trying to think forward tense. Yeah, they're going for it. They're going for it. So if we attack the queen, then it gives them something to think about, but it's going to just keep on this square. Is there anything else we can do? Knight attacking the knight. Knight takes. Pawn takes. Bishop. Uh, yeah, it's not going to work. Mm, intricate little web. Attack the queen. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. Let's go with that one for now. We know they're going to keep this line here and let's see how it looks after that. Maybe we try and go for an exchange of the queen, doubling the pawns. Or have we just given them it? One, two, three. But I suppose if they take, we'll just take the queen. All right, just relax the brain. We can see the focal point, mass attack on here. It's not the best position because we're not really squeezing through and the queen's going to move, so that's not going to work. So you can see a steady little queen's coming into the lair, but this is where we can go here. It's not trapped, but... Is the knight giving up? No, let's bring the bishop here, attacking the queen. Where's it going? Got x-ray through so i wouldn't think he'd go there might make a mistake and go here but going back here so 
we're hoping for mistakes but he's got places to go he can go there and go there he could even go here if he's really being annoying just in front of the king and we cheat. oh what the heck is this so we take we're on his knight we're up a piece what is going on here do, 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 do. we take What's this queen doing? You know, I get really scared when this stuff happens. You never know. I'm just waiting for that noise. Checkmate. Is he taking? Takes, then we take the queen. Queen comes back just to defend the knight. We take the knight. Gone all the way back. We can chase the queen some more or take the knight. I was thinking we take the knights, bishops here is on the knight and our bishop is in front of and this rook is here <clears throat> looks a bit messy doesn't it we hit the queen again but if we hit the queen again we're giving it excuses to dance around the board let's take the knight off the board and probably need to move this queen off of here really Maybe here. I think I like this one because we're protected a bit. Mm. Okay, let's go like this. It's just targeting through there. So the sea and stuff. I'm going to hit the queen with the smaller piece. It's giving the two on one here, so we can bring this rook here. So Ooh, is that right? Yes, supporting. And take still going to take. We don't have this at the minute because they're compounding the defense on this one. Might see small pawn moves trying to get this bishop out of the way. They have gone for the take. I'm going to take. But on the rook, it does take. We go for the queen. I don't think they'll exchange though. So will that be a waste? We don't need to go for the queen just yet. We could put a check on their king. For what reason? I don't know. Is that being too arty? I'm going to take with the queen. See if they do. It's nothing worse than a dancing queen or dancing all over the place. No, oh, he's dancing all over the place. Right, so if we go like this, put the check on, he moves into the corner. Yeah? Okay, put the check on first and see how it looks. Do we go and try and challenge the queen? It's just going to dance all over the place with the queen. Let's go and challenge the queen. Oh! Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, so they're giving up pieces now. All right. Maybe looking for a stalemate attack. Oh, and they've resigned. So that was a slow, steady, incremental development. I think they played quite okay at the beginning for me anyway. But we got two inaccuracies, uh, one blunder. And they got three inaccuracies, two mistakes and two blunders.